and now we are live it's like take five <laughs> okay everyone welcome back my name is paul if it's your first time here this channel is all about success 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 mindset and sales training videos and today we're going to be talking about telemarketing cold calling and what you can do to improve your sales on the phone we're going to be talking about your opening pitch we're going to be talking about your body language to change your tone but also to do better on the phone and we're going to be talking about some closes and we're going to be talking about some cognitive biases that you can use to get people to say yes on the phone. Then we're going to have some subscribers, the, the subscriber hangout, and we're going to be talking about fidget spinners and all that crap that you guys usually talk about. Anyway, Easy Purple, nice to see you. John's Guinea Pigs, how are you? Or oh, guinea, guinea Pigs, yes. Alatatos, I see you. Glad to be on here. Now... Let's just start by talking about how Anna Pavlidou, how are you there? By the way, guys, if you are Greek, you want to be checking out both Easy Purple's channel and Anna Pavlidou's channel, which also happens to be my assistant. Okay, so first of all, when you're talking on the phone, and it's probably not going to be a phone like this, it's probably going to be those telemarketing earpieces, but if you're talking on the phone, the first thing you want to do is introduce yourself and say your name. Be like, hey, uh, hi, how you doing? My name is Paul. And you have to introduce yourself. Don't use your surname. No one really gives a crap about what your surname is. You call up the person. Hey, how you doing? My name is Paul and I am calling from Nova. And you have to address this. This is the first thing you need to address because until then, he's wondering who the hell you are and if he knows you. So another thing you can go into if you're doing business to business is you don't know me, but I have so, so, so and talk to you, right? If you're cold calling for something like Nova or Fortnet or some sort of telemarketing service, then you just go straight to, hi, how, I'm, I am Paul. I am calling from Nova. Now people want to know what you're going to do for them. Now, most people at this point will say, I'm not interested. Okay, and this is especially true if you're, you know, you're dull, if you don't have enthusiasm when you're calling, okay? But one way to get over that is, check this out. Hi, my name is Paul. I'm calling from Nova for so-and-so. Now, I'm, I know your time is valuable, so I'm going to make this quick. And at that point, that person's thinking, oh, okay, he's making this quick. It will keep him on the phone. If by any chance he objects and says, I'm not interested, I don't have no time or anything like that, then say something along the lines of, I understand. Okay, give me 30 seconds to tell you about my product. And if you're not interested, close the phone on me. Believe me, most of the time this works. I have tried this. And in combination with the way I told you before about respecting the guy's time, you will keep him on the phone. Do not ask him what he's doing. And this is something that the Greek people do a lot because the translation of how are you is what are you doing in Greece? And it's just people don't really care. You know, they're like, who are you? Why are you asking me what I'm doing? Get to the point. You really don't have a lot of time. Hey, Tassos, how are you? It's nice to see you. You know what my problem is, guys? Real quick. I got a fingerprint on my glasses and it's driving me nuts. <laughs> anyway, so... As I said, your opening pitch, introduce yourself. Where are you calling from? What's in it for them? Talk about their time. And when I say talk about their time, I mean, I know your time is valuable, so I'm gonna make this fast. If they say something like, I'm not interested, hey, I understand, give me 30 seconds to tell you about my product and how it's of value to you. And if again, you're not interested, then close on the phone, then close the phone on me, hang up on me. And if they haven't hanged up already, then you can continue. And I'm saying this jokingly, but it's true. Most people, they don't want to know. They just hang up the phone. It's cold calling. It's a numbers game. What we're trying to do is make you talk to as many people as you can so you can get the deal. Yes. Now, business to business is more easy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this uh, YouTube video about business to consumer, so consumer products. So you're selling facial creams, you're selling Nova packages, you're selling anything that, you know, uh, can be successful. All right, so real quick, 
something very important that you can do instead of saying how are you doing or what are you doing or anything like that is you're having a good today you're having a good uh that's all folks okay you're having a good day today yes and what you are doing is you're implying and giving him the yes so he can so he can say the yes that makes him think of the answer you want most people will just laugh and be like yeah i'm having a good day and even if they're not there they will say yes because that's the last thing that we, uh, that stays in their mind yes so in general when you watch my sales training videos you will notice that i do this a lot yes <laughs> anyway another thing you gotta do is smile now when you smile on the phone people can see you maybe not but they can feel it they can feel your smile see body language is extremely important and people don't realize this let me give you an example when when you order somebody to sit down in a chair and if i say to somebody sit down in that chair and i point yes it's aggressive now if i try to do the same thing but with my palm up and i say sit down in that chair even though i'm trying to be aggressive my body language changes my tone it does not allow me to be aggressive and that's just an example you can try so when you smile okay you do this does show in your voice and by the way the trick to smiling is to smile with your upper cheekbones and that's a hint if you want to look good in pictures too you know how people smile in pictures and they look like you know they look like crap like that doesn't work you know smile with your upper cheek bones this will cause your facial uh, muscles to get into it which is how you're supposed to smile it will make you actually smile but it will give you a genuine smile to the other person now on the phone it will change your voice another thing is you gotta talk with confidence and and, and be an expert in your field this is extremely important it's actually one of the cognitive biases we'll be talking about later and confidence is done with body language you know chest out chin up and talk if I'm slouching like this, like a scared person, I'm probably going to be sound scared and tight. But if I have my diaphragm open, I can project my voice better and I'll get a sheer confidence boost. Does that make sense? Yes. And Easy Purple says body language is extremely important. Yes, it is. Even on the phone, when people can't see you, they can feel it. They can hear it in the tone of your voice. Okay. The other thing is, of course, to have a teacher to teacher mentality and that means talk with authority and i'll explain why in a little bit in the video i'm going to cover a whole bunch of stuff and i'll be answering questions okay the other thing you guys need to do on the phone when you're selling a product is don't sell the product do you know what you're selling other than yourself in sales we always sell ourselves but do you know what you're selling on the phone if you if you go to practical or, or um, a store basically to buy a drill people that go to buy a drill what do they buy do they buy the drill no they do not they buy the hole they buy the hole they want to make and that's what you have to do on the phone whether you're selling on the phone or, or selling face to face you sell what the guy needs you sell the benefits what's in it for them does that make sense when people say something on facebook facebook advertising they're not selling the product they're selling what the product can do for you yes when when you see adverts like uh before and after people losing weight you're selling what they will become like that's a little bit different but you understand where i'm getting at you're selling the whole not the drill and people have to realize this so let's recap real fast. I'm just going to look at my notes right here. Say your name. Make sure you say your name. By the way, you're saying your name. Make sure you're using the other person's name. So while, hi, Muhammad, how are you? I'm going to be covering questions in a second. Um, as you're see, saying your name, make sure you say the other person's name. Somewhere in that call, extract his name and use it. And I know a lot of people say this sounds cheesy or like it's um, a script, but the truth is people like listening to the names. See, ever since they were young, they were conditioned to listen to their name, to learn it. 
and they like hearing. It's like dogs. When you train dogs, you tell them their name one, two, three times. You keep on calling the name, and sooner or later, they learn it, and it grabs their attention. Yes? So when you say somebody's name, it's like, Roxy. The, Roxy, the dog's like this, tilts its head. Same thing with human beings when you say their name. So don't forget that. The second thing is, say, and this is what I do, after you introduce your product, where you're calling from and what's in it for them, tell them about their time. So say this, I am Paul, I'm calling from Nova now, know your time is valuable, so I'm going to make this quick and then get into what you're selling them, what they, uh, but not what you're saying, what they can do for them, why the, the, they can benefit, yes? Mohammed, I appreciate that. You're waiting for the questions and answers. I'll get to it very fast. Don't worry, this is more of a subscriber hangout today. By the way, for you guys that are used to seeing me, uh, seeing videos daily, the reason I haven't been on YouTube is I took over a call center. I'm there day and night doing their marketing, their, their cold calling structure. I'm, do, I'm redoing things. I'm growth consulting. So I'll be doing a lot of cold calling videos and telemarketing videos for you, both live but both and normal uploads. And it's kind of funny when, you're, when you haven't been live for a while or doing uh, videos, it's kind of weird. Hello, Lady L, how are you? Oh, Lady, are you from Direct Call Center? Let me know if you're, do you work for me? <laughs> anyway, so another thing is you got to smile. As I explained before, your body language is very important. You want to be enthusiastic and you want to be selling the hole, not the drill. Does that make sense? And give me a second, let me drink some water. By the way, if you know this Nightbot, it's a bot. Don't do, do not like talk to him or anything like that. Nightbot works for Alatatos, which actually program my chat. So Nightbot takes care of all the spams and everything like that and answers some questions sometimes. It's pretty cool. So, and uh, Alatatos, can you program Nightbot? So when somebody says hello, Nightbot, for it to say something funny. Anyway. So let's talk about some closes and let's get into the alternative close. And this can be done on the phone a lot, whether you're selling something or sending up appointments or anything like that. And alternative closes, for example, okay, let's say you're selling insurance and you want to close a meeting with somebody. By the way, if you're selling anything, you got to know that when you're on the phone, you want to set up a meeting if you're in sales. If you're talking to a girl, you want to set up the date. But if you're telemarketing, it's a little bit different. So the alternative close would be something like on the lines of, do you want to meet tomorrow at 4 o'clock or the day after at 6? And what you're doing, him, you do, you're giving him an alternative close where he will answer more than likely one of those two because that's how the brain functions. But at the same time, it, um, both of them suit you. Whilst if I said, do you want to meet tomorrow at 7? And somebody says no, then you're going to be like, how about the day after at uh, 6? And he says no, then you're like, how about Friday? And you kind of lost him and you're chasing him and it doesn't work. Whilst if I said to you, do you want to meet tomorrow at 4 o'clock or Wednesday at 6? And he says, he will answer one of the two. And if he says something like, I cannot, then be like, okay, what's the problem? The time or the day? And then if he says the day, then you know you okay with the time. So you can use the same time for a different day and say, okay, how about Friday at 6? Or along those lines, yes? The second thing you want to be doing is saying yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. You want to be saying yes all the time. And the reason is you, you're implanting yes in their mind. And if you do that by asking also questions, do you prefer sea view or do you prefer pool view or uh, do you like rainy days or sunny days? And they say either one of or, or, or the other and you continue with yes, they get used to... Um, answering questions, making decisions, but also saying yes. So you got more of a closing percentage at the end of the phone. The other thing you got to understand is when people ask questions, you, you need to close them, always be closing. So there's an if I could, would you close? And 
this is basically when somebody says, can you make it at Wednesday at 4? And then your answer is not yes. It's if I could make it at Wednesday at 4, is that okay with you? Or if they ask you, for example, does the room have a sea view? And, you, and if, you say, if you say yes and he says, ah, it makes me seasick, <laughs> and it just happens to follow a scarcity close where you have no other rooms available, then you just, lo you just close yourself. You lost the client. So what you want to be doing is, is if I had a sea view, would you be interested in that? And if it sees, says yes, then you close in that room. If it says no, it makes me seasick, then say we have another mountain view room, which is just as beautiful and you will enjoy. So that's another thing you want to be doing. So you want to be using their names. And let me just go through the chat before I get into cognitive biases, which is actually how the brain functions as scientific ways to persuade people or brainwash people, if you will. By the way, if you haven't subscribed to this channel already, go ahead. If you like sales training videos or success mindset videos, then go ahead, subscribe, because I'll be doing that a lot. And I'll be talking about fidget spinners and all that crap. I got a broken one here too, which I broke. But yeah, so this is uh, going to be a serious sort of humorous stream. I'm actually experimenting with my humor. Comment down below if you think I'm funny. <laughs> Let me just look at the chat real quick. Okay, we have Ale Tatos in here. How are you doing? We have Anna Pavlida, which is my assistant. Hello, Anna. Nice to see you here. She also has a YouTube channel with 22,000 subscribers in Greek, in Greece. So if you're into that, go ahead and watch. It's like lifestyle blogging and all that. She's awesome on the phone as well, by the way. We have Easy Purple, which is like YouTube famous. He has 90,000 subscribers in Greece. He does weird videos. <laughs> we have Tasso Stavro. I, Stavro, I know you. Hey, my man. Uh, he's been to all my streams. I really like him. He's really cool. We have Nightbot, which is a bot. We have Muhammad. How are you doing, Muhammad? We have Lady, which apparently does work for me, which I know who you are now, Lady. You know, maybe it's a bonus. Maybe you get a bonus. We'll see. We have Easy Go Menu. Hello, Easy Go Menu. How are you? Glad you are here with us today. We have quite a few people in here, man. So yeah, get get your get your uh, yeah. Alatatos easy is a weirdo, but he's really cool, and he's also got a video on fidget spinners. Cognitive biases, guys. Listen, I'm gonna list six cognitive biases for you right here, and I'm gonna tell you how you can use most of them on the phone. So real quick. We have reciprocity. Now, reciprocity is when, pe when you do a favor for somebody, he is entitled, he feels entitled to do the favor back. Have you noticed how when somebody invites you over to their house or invites you over to their wedding, you feel you have to invite them as well, even though most of the time you really don't want to? Um, it's the same sort of thing with, uh, you know, with, with this cognitive bias. It's called reciprocity. So one thing I used to do is, you know, have parties and actually invite all my clients or my network at that party. They felt the need to, to do the same for me. But the reason I used to do it is mostly so I can sell them, so I can get to know them and get referrals. Also, I'm very lonely and I kind of like want to get in, you know invited to parties, but I'm not. But anyway, the next uh, cognitive bias is scarcity. And scarcity is when something is missing or there's not a lot of something people tend to want to buy it. And this is especially true. If you notice a lot of stores or big chains, they have scarcely last available or last items for sale. Even Amazon has an algorithm that says things are not av available, even though they are. And I'll give the perfect example. My book, Success IAO, and if Alatados, if you're listening, please put that link up there. But my book, Success IAO, uh, it's on Amazon for about $20. And a lot of times it shows it that it's not in stock, even though I know it is because I made sure of that. 
So it does that to get the scarcity mentality or social proof of buying a lot of buyers, and that way it sells more. Does that make does that make sense? The next thing is likability. People need to like you. you. And the way you do this on the phone may be a little bit tricky, but you can do this by being enthusiastic, saying their name a lot, like I told you earlier, but also speaking in the same tonality as they are. So if you're talking to somebody and they're talking a certain way, you can do the same. You can go back and forth to use, but you can do it a certain way or say certain phrases that they say a lot and just repeat them. So that's one way. And the other way is to identify something you both like. And I'll give you an example. A lot of YouTubers have like Star Wars figures in the background. And the reason they do this is that people that see the Star Wars figures will get to, um, they feel connected and that way they will like them because they like the same sort of things. And that's a trick many people use. And, and that's something I use when I do other videos and, uh, you know, in general or in seminars. How do you do this on the phone? Identify something they like and like it too. Find out their hobby and make it your hab hobby. If they like, if you're on the phone and you ask them, what did you watch last? And they said, Survivor. And you said, oh, cool. Do you, I watch Survivor. Do you, are you with the, I don't know, the famous people or the warriors, which is the Greek thing, I guess. Uh, you want to be the same as they are. So I'm not telling you to lie. Just change who you like for the sake of that phone call. And that way you can make likability. And that way you can also build rapport and sell them on that cognitive bias. Another thing is authority. You want to look like an expert in your field. If you go to places, for example, uh, Gilly Diet or Silhouette or all these places, and you notice the dietitians are wearing like they're wearing like white robes, and they look like doctors, but they're not. But this image puts a doctor image in your head. This makes them look like special uh, specialists, like they're experts. It's the same exact. Thing when you're selling face to face by having diplomas or something or on the phone. So if I'm selling face to face, so I am, and so I'll focus now, but I am NAPS certified, for example. So now you know I'm an expert in my field because this goes to show that I'm one of the best salespeople in the world, believe it or not, as goofy as I may seem in this video. <laughs> so on the phone, what you want to do is talk on the same level as they are. Have a teacher to teacher mentality, not a teacher to student. That's a great example that my friend Spir Spiros Germanus actually stated the other day. Talk to them with confidence. Talk to them with authority. Yes? Then you want to do consistency. The consistency, cons, can, 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 I can't even say the word, consistency bias. And the reason you want to do, uh, the, what that is, is people tend to follow up on small favors. So if I ask you for a small favor, then I ask you for a bigger favor, you're more tend and keen on doing it. And this is what con artists do. They actually do that in order to get more and more and more, especially true for a friend you may have that just keep on doing favors for you keep on, you know, you know, running errands for them or picking them up is because they agree you agree to a small favor than a bigger favor than an even bigger favor. So if you're dating a girl, you want to ask her for a small favor, like a kiss on the cheek, then, you know, maybe a kiss and then maybe I don't want to say anymore. I cannot say anymore. And then, of course, there's consensus, and that's uh, cognitive bias for herd mentality. I, I know Easy's laughing at that last one, and I know Anna is probably shocked. Uh, consensus is herd mentality. So when other people do something, you tend to want to do it as well. And basically, what you want to do is, okay, Prove to them that there are other people joining. So if you're selling Nova, for example, which is a, a TV package over the phone, 
tell them, hey, you want to be welcome to, uh, you know, say yes today and you'll be welcome to our, people, our membership club, which are thousands of people, or you'll be really happy with this package. Uh, a thousand people that I've sold before you are welcome to the club. People want to be part of the herd. It's also social proof, yes? So you want to be doing this. You want to be using consensus, you know? And I know that this works just like all the other people watching these videos. So, <laughs> so do you understand what I'm saying? Anyway, that's basically what I wanted to quickly go by. I am doing experiments on doing these videos a little differently. I'm trying to use humor. I'm not sure if I'm going to be saying jokes. Uh, but also, I am... I'm a bit rusty because I haven't been on YouTube for a couple of weeks. I'm very I'm busy from day to night. I'm running my companies. I'm running a call center. I'm writing my new book, Closers 3, which is going to be coming out on the 15th of July. That's with Ben Gay the third. So, yeah. So, q and I'm here to answer your questions. So, go ahead and ask below. Ask me anything you want. Now's your chance, man. Now is your chance. Let me see if I can get a question earlier on. I know I saw one by Mohammed. What should be the start? What should be start for the first time in cold calling? Mm -hmm. Mohammed, when you call someone for the first time, what you want to be doing is introducing yourself and telling them who you are. Until you tell the person who you are, they're going to be wondering if they know you, where they know you from, which means whatever you're saying, they're probably ignoring it because their brain is trying to remember. So if you're calling somebody uh, in sales and not in telemarketing, the way I would do it is, hey, I'm Paul. You don't know me. But I got something that's going to blow your mind today and just keep on going in your pitch. Does that make sense? So that's how you want to introduce yourself in your first call. And then say something along the lines of, now I know your time is valuable, so I'm going to make this fast. Yes. And then just go into what you can do for them. People uh, want to know how you can help them, how your product will help them. Yes. Lady L is saying yes. <laughs> yeah, you want to say yes a lot as well. You want to, this is, it, it really, it, re, it really is, um, it, 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 your brain functions like this. It usually repeats the last thing that you tell it, yes? <laughs> Paul, Tassos Stavros is asking, Paul, are you still in Greece? Yes, I am. It's hot as hell. I have the window a little bit open, so, you know, you might be hearing some background noise, but I'm trying not to keep it too open so that, you know, you won't hear too much noise. I don't know how the sound is. You can tell me if you can. But um, I am in Greece. It's hot as hell, and I'm already starting to sweat. So, yeah. Alatato says brainwash, yes. <laughs> you can brainwash people. I've actually I've I've actually had uh, exotico. In English, it's not when you're being sued, it's just before you get sued, you get these papers that either you correspond or you go to court or something like that. I have actually been sent these papers and almost sued in court for brainwashing, believe it or not, back in my timeshare days. Easy Purple asks. In your opinion, is it wrong to say in the beginning of the video, hey, what's up, guys? It's the same psychology on the phone. Well, easy. I don't understand what you mean. You mean like calling somebody on the phone and saying, hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> okay, listen. It's, it's wrong in the sense that in a video, people click to watch your video on the phone. They don't know who's talking to them. So if someone calls me on the phone, I don't know who it is, and say, hey, how you doing? Like, who the hell are you? What do you want to know? You know what I mean? You want to know... You want to introduce yourself, tell them why you're calling. That's what you want to do. Anna Pavlidou says, repeat it three times. Yes, repeating things three times does make stick, things stick in your head. And this is something I usually do. Um, I do it without even thinking about it. Yes, I repeat things three times because that's a way of just getting it out. Also, keep in mind... To get a sale on the phone or to get a sale in general, it usually takes three to eight 
calls. And people usually give up on three. Some people give up on one. Three to eight calls. You gotta like really 10x those phone calls, man. And you gotta keep on asking, even if they say no, believe me. You know, and if people keep on saying to you, why do you keep on pressuring me? Why do you keep calling? And why are you being so persistent? It's not, or why are you pressuring me? Is Please don't, you know, don't confuse me pressuring you or persisting with my love and belief of my product. You know, there's a very big difference. There's a, you, you, know, you know, if you believe your product enough and you love it, you want to give it to as many people as you can because you know it will help them or solve their problem. There's no such thing as too many times. Alatato says exactly three times. Well, after that, it can get a little annoying depending on what you're saying. How do you sell as someone who people just love to hate? Alatatos is a great question. Hey, man. Kim Kardashian. Follow her. I know a lot of people don't realize this. First of all, Kim Kardashian is one of the best entrepreneurs and business mindsets I have ever seen. My advice for you, easy, is to follow her, read her biography, read about her, and see what she does. People love to hate people, and if, if that is also a need... You have to understand, some people just need to hate someone. And you can feed off that and use that to your advantage. So, yeah. Any other questions, guys? Go ahead. I'm right here for you. He's like, oh, my God, hell no. See, you hate her. You don't like her. But you know of her, and she has so many people. And a lot of people hate her. But they still go there. Even you're saying, hell no. But, hey, guess what? She's famous. You just asked me how to do it, and that's how. Look at Ty Lopez. You know, they say that first they ignore you. Then you get their attention. They start hating you. Then they start paying attention. And finally, finally they'll start loving you. Okay. Miss Madden, hello. How are you? It's nice to see you here. We are actually talking about cold calling and telemarketing. But this is also a subscriber hangout. And if you want to talk about fidget spinners... You can talk about fidget spinners. You can talk about anything you want. Easy Purple says, you, I guess you're right. I know I am right. By the way, has anybody here you know, done the model challenge where as you're talking, you just... And you know, you make them believe that you froze, but you haven't. It's like the model challenge. It's just, I just really find that funny. I thought I'd throw it in the video. Tasso Stavru, how can you use to your advantage when people love to hate us. I just told you, people used to hate me too when I became first started becoming a rapper and, you know, then people loved me. Uh, you know, just follow Kim Kardashian, see what she does, see how she did it. Anna Pavlida says, Paul, my girl, Miss Maiden. Oh, yes, I remember seeing you, Miss Maiden. You've done some collaborations with Anna. I remember you. That's pretty awesome. Over 70,000 subscribers on Miss Maiden's channel. That's crazy. That's insane. I'm jealous. I think I got about 595, almost to 600. If you haven't liked this video, then go ahead and like it below and subscribe to this channel because I want to hit 600 these days, man. So if we can get 600 subs, that's great. If somebody can tell me how many subscriptions I have, that would be great because I don't think I can see. I'm loving... The, I'm loving the engagement on, the, on this video. We don't have a lot of people in, but a lot of people are engaging in this video, and I'm happy. I'm here to answer your questions. Monteroshi, how are you? How many dildos do you own? <laughs> I own one live dildo. It's permanently attached to my body, and it's ready to fuck people up. <laughs> oh, come on. He just deleted it. Why did you delete that, man? It's a dildo. It's nothing bad. I think you're allowed to say the F word once on YouTube before it becomes uh, not good for, um, you know, for uh, lower people. Uh, by the way, um, Nightbot, you may want to... Oh, Aletatos, you may want to... Um, cool down the settings on Nightbot because I think my friend Easy Purple just got deleted by Nightbot. <laughs> Okay, Tasso Stavro, how can I get 600 subs to Paul? 
I still have 41. Oh, how you can get 600 subs? Hey man, just making consistency videos, but consistent video. Listen, consistency is key on YouTube and it's funny because I haven't been consistent lately, but somehow because of earlier videos, my YouTube channel keeps on going up. What I would do is find a niche and just keep on making videos and look at structure. And I advise you to follow Nick Nim and Brian G. Johnson Owen video and watch what they do because they got some great advice on YouTube. But yeah, you want to be um, you want to be consistent. You want to make uh, three types of videos, hub videos, which is your everyday videos, which are short, which just address a need and solve a problem. You want evergreen videos, which will address problems and solve them even in the future, like a lot of your older videos will help your future videos that's like usually around eight minutes for example my how to sell a pen video it's always relevant so it keeps on going up yes and then you want to make your hero videos which are really long videos which are also good for the algorithm and then just keep on being consistent with your videos um you know the way your introduction is the most important thing the way you introduce yourself i already covered that in other videos and yeah look at my video on youtube success it should cover a lot i think i have a live video as well um Tazo Stavros, you're uploading videos every week. You may want to be uploading videos three times a week and you may want to be watching your videos and see if it meets the guidelines. By the way, Brian G. Johnson just wrote a book uh, called, the what was it called? Um, YouTube Rituals or something like that. I can't remember it, but it's a great book. You should get it. And there's, an, an, there's another one also called, um, what is it called? Let me just see one second. Okay. The, <laughs> coming in like this, The Trust Funnel, which is also a great book that you can check out. But watch his videos. He gives free advice, man, and you should follow it for you, you know. Easy Purple, always strive for your latest video to be better than the last. I'm pretty sure that this video is not. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, it's been a while since I was on YouTube. And as I said, I wanted to be have, I want my live videos to be a little bit more entertaining, a little bit more me, a little bit not so, you know, strict. Because a lot of people, you know, they see that, you know, I'm into success and sales and, you know, and I've done what I've done for people that followed my career, but they don't realize I'm a really cool guy, right, man? I'm a really cool guy, you know maybe a little vain <laughs> but you know i'm really cool like as in i'm really humorous i'm easy to talk to i like having fun um i'm not that stuck up person you know that just goes vip and all that you know what i mean tube ritual that's it easy purple tube ritual check out that book by brian g johnson check out his channel check out owen video and of course nick nimmon if you follow these three people you're gold man mm. So how are you guys? How was your day today? It, it, you know, it was raining. Now it's hot. It's all crazy. I was going to go fishing, but I didn't go because of the rain. So that got canceled. I was going to go tonight. Uh, I got my, I had all my fishing rods ready and I had all my baits. I went and bought live bait and everything and it started raining so much that the fish started coming out swimming on the road. Okay. That's an exaggeration maybe, but yeah, you, 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 you get what I mean. Um, any more questions, guys? What's up? Any questions about telemarketing? Who's still in here? Is Lady still in here? Lady, you in here? Tassos, you in here? Mohammed, are you around? I know you said you were going to be around. I'm going to pay my spinner a little bit, my fidget spinner, till I get more questions. Easy Purples, how is it possible to be soon... Oh, so hot here in Greece and so rainy. Dude, I do not know, man. It's June. It's uh, and it's raining. It's still hot, but I don't know. The weather's kind of crazy, man. I don't know why. I don't mind, but it did stop my fishing. I used to go fishing in the rain as well, but, you know, I kind of avoid it nowadays. Is it raining there? It was. I'm not sure if it's raining now, but it was raining a lot, man. It was raining like crazy. Insane. Insane amounts of rain. Insane rain in the membrane. Anna Pavlidou says, here I am once again. Welcome back. I wasn't aware you left. 
lost, to be honest. Anyway, we're just hanging out here now and um, answering questions. If these these live these live shows are funny because they start out with you know phone and telemarketing and cold calling and then usually it's just a bunch of people talking about YouTube stuff and you know crazy things like that. Easy purple, you're timed out <laughs> by Nightbot. <laughs> Easy purple, man. Hey, uh, Aletatos, if you're with us, can you program Nightbot to not be so um, so strict? Because it's a bit too strict, man. Even though it's only 600 seconds, he'll be back. If anybody's watching, Nightbot is a bot that is basically a mod, a moderator. And it will answer you, it will talk to you, and it helps out in the chat. And uh, the funny thing is that the, uh, we, me and Alotatos, we're getting into some business together, and we're thinking about creating our own bot that's going to do what Nightbot does, but a whole bunch of other things for YouTubers, so stay tuned for that. Easy Purple is back with another channel saying, screw you, Nightbot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving it. It is great. That's great, man. So, any news? How are you guys doing? What was your day like? What did you, lady? Did you sell today? Did you police Simera? Did you sell? Did you sell anything? Lady, by the way, she works for me. She works at Direct Call Center selling Nova packages. I'll say it here live. I think that she's going to be one of the best sales cold calling reps ever in that company and beyond i truly believe this she's in my ninja team which essentially means as a group of people i have to do some experiments some new cold calling experiments and new scenarios i will be making some videos about how new methods of marketing never done before tried and tested by me in the past but also at where I'm working at, at the call center right now. So I'm going to be doing split tests and seeing what works and what doesn't. And yeah, Lady is in the Ninja team and she will be part of that. And she's also one of my favorites because she's always smiling, she's always positive, and I love that. Easy Purple says, just one more little hour of work and I'm done. Easy, what are you working on? What are you doing exactly? I hope you're working on my videos. Because Easy, by the way, she, he, he's also uh, Easy Purple. He's a great YouTuber with over 90,000 subscribers. But he's also a photographer and video editor. And we're doing some projects together. So keep that in mind. Paul, talk to Greek language. Oh, you never heard me talk Greek. You want to hear me in Greek? Okay. I, I'll try. Give me a second. So this is going to be in Greek. Λοιπόν, τα ό,τι κάνεις έτσι ακούγουμε στα ελληνικά. Είμαι ο Πολ και κάπως έτσι μιλάω για το βίντεο. Και όταν μιλάω... <laughs> is that good enough? <laughs> Αλατσάτος is asking Easy Purple what is editing. He's editing um, a live seminar I did. A three and a half hour seminar on success, mindset and sales. He's going to make a hero video, which is a really long video but he's also making small videos which I will be uploading on YouTube. They are in Greek because I had a lot of people also ask me for YouTube videos in Greek. And since I did the seminar in Greek, I will be uploading those to my YouTube channel with English subtitles. So that's basically what he's doing. Um, which I think was long overdue since I have a lot of people asking me to speak Greek on my videos and some people were like, why don't you speak Greek? Why don't you speak Greek? Because it's an international channel, man. <laughs> you know, it's the same thing. I used, to, I used to be an artist and I used to, you know, sing and rap in English. And a lot of people, when I used to do shows, they would get on my channel and be like, why, why, are you singing, why are you speaking in English? Why don't you speak in Greek? On my Facebook, on my channels, on my songs. I'm like, hey, man, I'm an international artist. Most of the people I know are, you know, outside of Greece and... My target market is outside Greece. They do not speak Greek. You know, most Greek people speak English. Or at least they should. 
Tasso Stavros says, I think I already read this. He says, I speak good Greek. Neto xero. Easy Purple says, I have heard anything. Okay, Easy Purple says he's heard my seminar 10 times in the video because he edited it. I, I hope you learned a lot easy. And uh, yeah, so you didn't hear things three times. You heard it 10 times, multiply, multiplied by three times since I do the three time repetitive close, which means you heard this a few thousand times. <laughs> <laughs> which is insane by the way i bought this fidget spinner from jumbo and the first day i was playing with it i dropped it and the little thing here came out it just snapped out as you can see you can still use it but it doesn't work that well and then i had my assistant anna one day in the office i didn't have my fidget spinner i told her to go downstairs and buy me one and she bought me this one which is pretty cool. So if you have nothing to say in the video, you can just sit in the video like this. And you know, people here just sit like this forever or until this stops. Anyway, so yes, uh, by the way, lady, one day you and Anna may have one of these little cr credit things. What are they called? Certificates? Yeah. It's pretty cool. Let me do the effect. And this goes, by the way, for those of you who do not know, we have the first thing you got to remember in sales is the other person. Yeah. So I go by a saying called sum tertius and that's Latin for I am third. So basically it means God is first, the client is second and you are third. And that's the oath that we have if you want to get in the NAAPS, but it's also the oath to become a sales infiltrator, which is beyond a master closer. And it's the core principle of the closers one, two by Ben Gay the third, which is the number one sales trainer in the world, is a living legend. And now the closers three, which is by Ben Gay the third and myself, which is pretty awesome. I'm really happy about that. Lady says, Axis per sotro subscribers Paul is in Volesu with un bolos. Lady says that I, I deserve a lot more subscribers because I help a lot of people. Thank you, lady. I appreciate that. Uh, that is my actual goal in life is to become as successful as I can and help other people also reach success. That is a promise I made while I was fighting cancer. I always wanted to help people, but now it became a promise or if you will, a goal, my ultimate goal. And I just want to help as many people as I can. Uh, by the way, if you haven't already bought my book, it should be in the links by night button here and then. But it's the success IAO, which is pretty blurry right about now. Um, one third of that is given to help people fight cancer. And if you have cancer, it's for free. So if you are about to buy it and you've had cancer or know someone fighting cancer, whatever, contact me for a free version. And also, also, ah, who knows who this is? <laughs> this is baby boss and uh, my girlfriend gave me this and I use I, I have him he looks exactly like Ben Gay the third when he was a baby by the way and if you've watched the movie you've seen him say put that cookie down cookies are for closers and if you watch it with the Greek version then you probably didn't understand that actually comes from a movie uh, it's something something Glenn Ross and it's when somebody you know there's a sales meeting and this guy comes in from downtown and he's having this meeting and someone goes to get a coffee and he says put that coffee down coffees for closers only and then basically he gets into the meeting and he you know he was swearing and stuff like that and somebody says something like yeah you know I don't have to put up with this. some I don't have to put up with this and he says good you don't have to cuz you're fired you know and that's kind of the way I run business meetings as well when someone you know really pisses me off as lady and 
some people have noticed when I fired somebody. But you gotta get rid of negative people. You gotta get rid of them because they will spread. And it's, you know, it's a sin if you let them spread negativity because they can make other people's fail. Other people's, uh, you know, limitations become their limitations. So you have to get rid of them. You know, the, you can try to help them. And if you cannot get them out of there as fast as possible, just get them out there and it's gone. You know what I mean? Let me just switch off my phone because it keeps on lighting up even though it's in silence. It just, you know, pisses me off. <laughs> so let's see if we, what we missed here. Ladies, uh, Anna... Anna says, Easy Purple says, Lady will help him out. Yeah, Easy Purple tried to help me. I was like, subscribe to, 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 to Paul's channel. I'm like, no, 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 do not do that. See, I only want people sub sub subscribing to my channel if they're interested in success, success mindset or sales training videos. Because if you get subscribers that don't watch your videos, the algorithm will put down your channel videos or your channel and the reason is they will see people subscribe not watching your videos and they will think that they're not interested so it's actually worse for your channel so if you're watching videos make sure you watch them till the end and make sure you get subscribers are interested and this is why you should not buy subscribers or beg for subscribers or beg for sub for sub and all that crap that people do and the professor says I wanted to buy you the fidget spinner that had lights on. Yes, but I think that was a bit too much for the um, sales deck, the call center. You know, we had ABBA playing, then we have the lights with the fidget spinner, and, you know, sooner or later, everyone starts dance, dancing to disco music. Lady L says, both in personal and business uh, subscribers. Okay. Thank you, lady, again. I'm very happy with that. I'm glad I'm helping people out. It is my mission in life Alatato says boss baby it's baby boss Alatato it's not boss baby baby boss man okay Evie Purple says Chucky <laughs> Tato Stavros says it's Donald Trump when he was a baby it could be it could be but it actually looks a lot like Ben Gay the third I actually didn't make the connection with Donald Trump it could have been Donald Trump too very true Alatato says put the cut down Oh yeah, Nova did have uh, did have a commercial like that. Very true. Actually, was it from there? Do you think it was from Put That Coffee Down? Did they get it from there? I'm not sure. Nightbot says, check out my success IAO book. You could check that out. I know Lady has it for free because the owner of the company bought one for all the telemarketers that were working at the time, which was about 20 of them. He kindly bought 20 books and gave them to everybody. So you better be reading that. You better be reading that. You know, it's like the Bible. <laughs> and I'm not saying it's like, bear with me, bear with me. Jesus Christ wrote a book now whether you believe him or not he gave up his life for our sins right he died for us or he died you know for his beliefs if you don't believe in him whatever but he wrote a book or they wrote a book you know or it consists of his story the least we can do is read about him and why whether we believe or not and that's something i really believe in so if somebody gave you a book called success iao lady and, you know, I wrote the book and you like this channel, go ahead and read the book. It's the least you can do. Easy Purple says, put that regular remote control down. That could work, actually. It would be very good to do right now as spin-off in Greek from Baby Boss in Greek. It could work. I wonder. They probably won't do it, though. Anyway... Guys, if you're not going to ask questions or anything like that, I'm going to be ending the stream now. So if you have any questions, go ahead, go ahead and answer now so I can get to them. Just so you know, I'll be making more videos more regularly from now on. Uh, I'll be doing a lot of sales videos, obviously call center sales videos, marketing videos, since that's what I'm going to be doing for the call center anyway. And I'll also be uploading Greek videos with English subtitles 
for the Greek people that watch this channel, which is something they've been asking for a very long time. Alatatos, in the cultural. Okay, Alatatos is asking if it's better to be friendly or be serious with a client. Dude, go friendly, man. Being serious is two 1980s. Um, but a rule of the thumb is to talk how they talk to you, then be friendly. Does that make sense? So you want to be, you want to have, as I said before, you want to talk with confidence and have a teacher to teacher attitude and being friendly is that is one way. Now you can say, sir, you can be polite. Being friendly doesn't mean it in the Greek way. Only in Greece, we would say something. Fre when we say be friendly, I don't mean like, hey, malaka tigani skalaisa. I mean, <laughs> you know, like we do in Greece. I mean, <laughs> you know, be friendly. It's like, hey, how you doing? Or how are you doing? But, you know, ease go menu. What happened? You said something bad and you probably were put on timeout. And, but I did answer your question. You can see that in the um, live stream. But yeah, we do have a bot here, man, that watches language. Watch your language, bro. See, I can swear. I can say shit. You can't. Well, you can, but I'm just being funny. Tazo Stavro, be friendly always works better. Yes, it does, my friend. Be friendly on the phone and talk to somebody like you're on their level. When I'm, you know, when I'm out of the battle in the street, a lot of people wonder how I have so many connections, why my network is so big. I, I talk to everyone. I walk down the street and say good morning to people I don't even know and smile and make them smile. I'm sitting in a bar. I'm talking to people at the bar. You, you know, I never had a problem picking up girls because I was friendly and nice, genuinely. And this is something that is extremely important. You know, I talk to everyone. I talk to people. You know, just be friendly. It works better in sales. It works better for your life. It works better all around, guys. Now, if you are talking to a VIP and you suddenly start, to, hi, sir, how are you doing? Blah, blah, blah. And I'm a bit, you know, they don't appreciate that. Believe me, they would rather you talk to them on their own level, which shows confidence, which shows you're an expert, and they're now intrigued to listen to what you have to say, because most people don't do that. Does that make sense? So keep that in mind. Do you guys have any other questions? Anyone? Anyone? Questions, questions, questions. I'll play with my fidget spinner. Anyone play with, who, who here, who here uses fidget spinners? Anyone? I know, see, these catch on in Greece. We have koboloya, we have these like uh, beads, worry beads they're called, or the two beads with one string that we used to play with. And now, so I guess it's very easy for Greeks to start using this. But, you know, I, I usually play with something, an object, um, and I know where your head's going, I know where your mind's going, that's not what I meant. I usually play with something as a pen, pen, or something like that, so fidget spinners are cool for me because it's pretty cool. Easy Purple says I just use them for the views. Yes, I know you made fidget spinner videos. I know they are in, uh, they're a trend, and I know you would. I am actually working with a CNC training, uh, CNC center, which are making special ones like out of fighter jet metal and stuff that will spin for a very long time. They won't stop. They're very precise. And we're going to be giving them as executive gifts for companies with their logo on there. So that's something I might be getting into. As a matter of fact, easy. if you want me to hook you up and if you want to advertise those spinners, I don't know why I didn't think of it before, call me on Monday. I'll set up a, an, an, an um appointment with you maybe you can work something out like a sponsorship a deal or something like that um or influence marketing if you will anna pavlido says easy purple is a fidget spinners master <laughs> that's what Stavros says i have a comboloi and fidget spinners I'm glad to hear that i used to play with the two beads as well i used to sit like Ch -ch -ch -ch. i also have a couple of chinese balls <laughs> <laughs> and when I say Chinese, I think I mean the metal balls <laughs> that you play around with. I'm not a Chinese person in the other room or anything like that. I'm 
by the way, Tazo Stavro, to ask, answer your earlier question, if it's raining here, it is because I can now hear the rain outside. So, yeah. So what else do I have around here I can show you guys? I already showed you Baby Boss. Here's a good idea for a business card, by the way. If you guys want to make business cards, this is my actual business card. And as you can see, I have my picture on there. And the picture is on there so that it can, you know, people can remember you, but also that friendly thing we talked about. Make sure you're smiling. And it's also harder for somebody to throw away your picture. At the same time, he remembers who you are. There is your title right underneath. And as you can see, let me just bring it closer up. Okay, it has my title. Well, you want you want to be very um, clean it, with your business card, your phone number, and your website and everything like that. This blue line, he, oh, this blue line on this side will make the difference. It will pop. Blue is also a color that's strong. It's dynamic. It will also show in somebody's wallet or call, card holder. So it's pretty cool. Plus on the back. I have a quote I wrote. I wrote this. I actually wrote this. It's called, you don't find success, you create it. Or you don't find success, you create success. And that's also an affirmation. Watch my affirmation videos. Why? But it's something you should be reading every day. But it's also a nice message that people will look at. So again, they won't easily throw away this card because it has something positive in the back. And you're, you're also... Um, you know, spreading positiveness and of course a QR code that will take you to my website, which will probably sell you my book. Um, let's see what's going on here. Easy Purple says, go below in one hand and put your spinner on the other. <laughs> okay, that would be interesting. Or, or you can do like two fidget spinners. You can be like, and then just kind of like do some ninja shit, like, you know. Anyway, lady is laughing. Uh, nice. I'm glad you're a laughing lady. Easy Purple says, what's your favorite color though? My favorite color is actually blue and yellow, believe it or not. And a lot of people think I do those colors on my book because they're my favorite colors, but no. The reason it's blue and yellow on my book cover is that blue is power and yellow is the color of success. Now, believe it or not, it's orangey, by the way, uh, my bad. But believe it or not, um, this was done by luck, so it was made to happen. I, it was, it just happened. But yeah, in general, I like blue and yellow. And on cars, I like black, or, you know, depends on what car you have, usually. Tasso Stavra says, Paul, have you seen my new photo I've made to my channel? No, I have not, Tasso, I will check it out, though. Ala Tato says fidget spinner mass race. Hey, let me check out. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to check out your channel right now, Tassos. And I will see if I can give you some advice. What do you think? Is that a good idea? Would you like me to do that? Answer down below. Like you want me to give you a channel review? Since we're just sitting here. And, you know, I know this is supposed to be about performance and stuff. But I can, I can, you know, we can hang out. I can give you some advice. What do you think? Yes, no, do you want to, ch yes, good, okay, let's do that, man, so give me a second, let's just uh, go to your channel here, all right, let me see if I can um, display, there you go, so I can see your channel right now, okay, the first thing I want you to do is okay it's actually it looks pretty cool all right there's a few things you need to do to your channel man first of all i like your banner but you have to see your, the 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 banner um requirements and specifications because right now what it's doing is you're covering one of your photos with your other photo with your profile picture and basically it's not going to the whole um, screen. So basically you need to fix this. And one way to do that is to Google header dimensions for YouTube, yes? So do that. Uh, I really love the way you did your header. It shows what you are doing, kind of. It says right tools, right equipment, do it all. I guess, okay, 
I would um, go a little bit more specific on what people can learn from your channel. So I would be something like subscribe, which is a good way to start, subscribe for tech uh, advice or equipment hacks or something like that. You know what I mean? I wouldn't put do it all because that's kind of like doing it all. People like specific things. Does that make sense? Um, your profile picture is okay. I would rather have something with a plain background so you can pop out more. As a matter of fact, if you have a black background with a black banner and you're not covering your other picture, it might be like part of your banner, which would look pretty cool, actually. Just a thought. Um, the second thing I see, you don't have playlists, man. Or you do have playlists. You have created playlists. But you have them all together. Listen, Tassos, there's a way to do it like mine by adding single playlists like I do on my channel. And what you can do is you can put something like um, you can write Resident Evil and underneath gaming hacks, whatever, and have everything over there. And you can see the videos one after the other. And then underneath that, you can have your smartphone and then have one on the other after the other. So make single playlists. And then what that will do is you can put the title and description, which is also relevant for ranking your videos. So if they're the same sort of, if they're also describing your videos, then you will be ranked. Does that make sense? So make sure you do that for your channel. It's, it's extremely important. You're doing a lot of stuff. I would definitely use hacks up at the top, right? Uh, tool hacks, equipment hacks, or something like that, explaining what you are doing exactly for people. This could be the reason you're not getting a lot of subscribers, by the way. So make sure you do that. You definitely need, let me see your about page real quick. Okay, I like your I, I like your about page. You filled it in, which is extremely important. I would look at your writing. You have I am in one word, and you're not using capitals, so you should like tweak and fix everything up. Hello, I'm Tassos. I'm from Greece. If you like your shelf videos, gaming, computer builders, okay, you're doing a lot of things. Try to find a way to combine all of them under one or two titles. Like what, if you were to describe your channel in three words, what would those three words be? And try to, you know, use that as a guideline. And I'm not sure if you have um, a main video like I'm not sure if you have like a channel video where somebody goes through your video and you know, it's the first video he sees, but if you don't have one, you definitely want to make one. And uh, I think I just destroyed, I'm, am I still online by the way? Cause I think I got offline. I'm not even sure. I think I just shut the, ah, I just shut the YouTube live streaming. Let me see if I can get back. Am I live? I don't know if I'm live or not. Okay, I think I'm back. I'm not sure if I disappeared or not. If I disappeared, it's because I accidentally shut my stream off. So now we will find out if, you know, this works. If you accidentally switch off your YouTube channel. Can you guys hear me? I'm here. Did I go offline or was I live all this time? This is a very important question. So... Because what I did was, as I was looking at, I did not disappear. Okay, guys, I just found something out. So basically, if you are live on YouTube and you're looking at somebody else's channel, but you switch off your YouTube live, guess what? Your live will still be online. That is awesome. I did not know that. That is crazy. And the other thing I just found out is when you pop out your channel chat and you put it into OBS, if you're using OBS, you do not need to have it popped out. You can read it straight from the, um, the stream right here. So you don't need to have it popped out all the time. It will still have it on your live chat. It will still show it on screen. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, if you switch off your channel by accident, no problem. That's pretty awesome. So if that ever happens, keep talking like I did and it's good. So let me see what I missed here. Uh, 
where are we? Easy Purple says, how do you recommend someone who is not rich by any stretch of imagination to invest 1,000 euros? Easy Purple, you actually have my book, Success IAO. Right at the back, there's action plans and you can look at different ways to make money straight away. Ways to make you about 2,000 euros to 3,000 euros a month easy and without buying or anything or anything like that. These are online methods and offline methods that I have used, they have proved, most of them I've done myself and you can use that that's the and if you and i've also have a couple of videos about how to make money and you could check that out in my channel tasso stavros says i've made some changes that you told me a few weeks ago that's great i'm glad you did those changes now if you made the changes i just told you you will do even better my man Lady L says, Lady says, blue is my favorite color too. That's excellent. I've also noticed that Lady, you spelled color in the British way, which is C-O-L-O-U-R, not C-O-L-O-R, which means you probably did a proficiency test or um, you did something by British standards, which is awesome. How do you do these playlists, Sassos? You basically go to the add thing at the bottom of your YouTube channel, and when you add, you add a single playlist, you make it, and then you add videos to that playlist. It's pretty easy. Easy Pebble says, you see your online. Yeah, I realize that now, and everyone's telling me that I did not disappear, which is great. Easy Purple says the stock market, you can do the stock market way. And if you do, I suggest you re, okay. If it's like everything else in life, if you want to work the stock market, my friend, uh, you need, if basically with a thousand euros, you can use leverage, which means it's pretty much like you have 5,000 euros and you actually can do that. But so you can have a thousand euros, but it will let you invest 5,000. But listen, here's the thing easy that you have to understand that if you want to get into the stock market, learn how to day trade, learn Western, Western technical analysis and Eastern technical analysis, which is like candlestick training and stuff like that. Learn, uh, I wouldn't wor worry about f or, or learn f fundamentals, but I'm more of a technical analyst. So if you're going to do that, read about it for two years, study it. And two years might seem like a long time, but listen, to become a lawyer or a doctor, you need four years, eight years, and so forth. And people get into the stock market without knowing what to do, and that's why they lose money. So yes, you can invest in the stock market, but you got to study it. I would follow f uh, Trader Florida, which is one of the persons you need to follow. And also Neil, uh, oh, uh, oh my God, I can't remember the words. Anyway, if you want to get into stocks, I'll send you a whole bunch of books and courses. I have 10,000 euros worth of courses on the stock market. I can lend to you and you can uh, learn, but you got to learn, man. Oh, I do have experience in the stock market. Uh, so you answer, I just, I think I just answered that question. <laughs> Easy Purple is asking on the style level. Oh, okay. Tasso Stavros says, thank you, Paul, which is great. Let me just pop out this chat so it's easier. So, yeah, one of the books you could use is... Um, this is an excellent book, How to Make Money in Stocks by William J. O'Neill. That was the, the name... I was actually th uh, thinking of or searching for. But yeah, man, just get in touch with me. I'll send you a whole bunch of courses, man, paid for. You can borrow them, no problem. And I'll tell you a whole bunch of people you could follow as well. Learn candlesticks as well. And then and what you can do is you learn candlesticks and then what you uh, do is you look at the candlesticks, you read the chart, the technical analysis, and then just compare that with Western analytics and see if they correspond. That way you can go in. But there's a lot to know about the stock market, man. Don't just get into it blind. You will lose your money. And it's even worse if you actually make money because then you think you know what you're doing and you will not. Last C 
says, I would appreciate having that info in the stocks as well, please. And thank you. Very well, I will do. Nice to see you here, by the way. Just anybody that needs anything like that, just email me. And um, I might even do a video about it one day, man. But yeah, just email me after Monday because I will forget. <laughs> But then I will send you all the information I can so you guys can get into it safely and also responsibly so you can make money. Tesla Savra says, I would love him to just email me, man. Email me after Monday. And is, 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 is Anna actually, you know what? Anna Pavlido, are you still around? If my assistant is here, then she will just remind me after Monday, just send her your email addresses and she'll, you know, take care of everything. Easy Purple says, I follow the financial education YouTube channel for this kind of stuff. Hey man, you need to follow a lot more than that. It's not going to be enough, my friend. It's not going to be enough. Believe me, you need to read and study like you're in college or university. Believe me, do follow a guy called Trader Florida. And also, I will send you more material, but do not go in there blind, my man. Anna Pavlidio, if you can just get all those names and remind me to get everything ready for them. They'll probably send me an email, though, to be honest with you, because I said that before. But please do remind me so and remind me of the names so I can take care of that. Um, Let's see, what is your email? It's paul at pauldemocritu.com or you can find me on my website, pauldemocritu.com. Anna, if you could write that out for him, I would really appreciate it. The link to my website or my email address. Uh, yeah, any more questions? How many people are in this live chat? Let me check real quick. We have seven people watching right now. Who, who is the seven people who's watching this video right now? By the way, if you haven't liked this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up right now. Just give it a thumbs up, man, and I uh, really appreciate that. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, or as Sniper Wolf will say, as a Sniper Wolf. Actually, no, I'm not going to do it this time. <laughs> it just sounds silly. But yeah, hit that subscribe button. Lassi says, thank you. I thank you for being here, my man. Anything I can do. So we've been talking for over an hour. This live stream has lasted for an hour and 16 minutes, which is great. I think I should be ending this live video soon so I can relax, you know, get some sleep. And also, before I do that, I do have some work to do, unfortunately, or fortunately, or unfortunately, depending on your take. I love working, but there's just some things I just don't like doing. But I have to do them anyway. It's like, I do them, man. You know, you have to. A lot of people ask me how I'm so active, how I work so much nonstop. And the reason is I love my job. I love my work. I don't feel like it's work. It's a hobby. It's an it's, it's, it's obsession. And that has to be, be the same for you. That has to happen to you. You have to start wanting to succeed and loving what you do. And then it will not make you tired. You will actually be tired when you're not doing it. And remember in life, if you want to have extraordinary results, you have to put in extraordinary amounts of effort. If you put average amounts of work, you will get average results. So you have to put extraordinary. By the way, average means broken in Arabic. So you do not want to be broken. You have to be extraordinary. So get up, start fighting, start doing more. And, you know, start planning your future and start succeeding. If Okay, what, what, are you, what is Easy Purple? Oh, Easy Purple saying at pauldemocracy.com. Okay, cool. Oh, the chat doesn't allow proper links? Okay. Uh, well, all right, so it's at pauldemocritu. It's pauldemocritu.com, my man. So, any more questions, guys? Anything? Okay, I'm going to end this live chat. It was great talking to you. I'll be doing more of these again. So, yes, and 
Yeah, so I'm Paul Democritu. If you like success, success mindset and sales training videos just like this one, then go ahead and subscribe to this channel below. I do all these kind of videos for you guys so you can succeed in life and business and achieve your goals. So yes, until next time, I'm Paul Democritu. Oh, come on, lads. Right now, right where I'm about to do the closing, you're getting on, right when I'm about to close my video, you have to ask a question. I'm, ask, I'm asking you to ask questions all this time. Okay, let me see. How to deal with family that may not be on board with all your visions. Love them. Love you, bro. I love you, my man. I love you too. Listen, bro. Um, family, friends, enemies, they will all stop you doing your visions. You have to do it anyway. Most people will not understand what you're doing. I mean, if you, if I told my parents back in the day that I'm gonna, you know, do a YouTube channel, write a book, and all that, they probably would have ignored me. Well, actually, my parents were very supportive. But in general, you just gotta do it anyway. You just, you know, think of this: unless your parents are millionaires or billionaires, then they're probably giving you the not the wrong financial advice anyway. So. And so you just gotta, you know, you just gotta do what you gotta do. Tell you what, I'll make a video about that next time. Anna Pavlido, can you just make a note about a video on how to deal with family that may not be on board with your visions? And I'll do a video just for Laz, okay? And if Anna is not listening, then Easy Purple, if you could tell Anna, that would be great. So, any more questions, ask me right now because I'm going to do the outro. Does anyone have any friggin' questions? Answer, ask right now. Anyone? Any question at all? Lady Elsa's good night. Good night, lady. Okay. So thank you for watching this video. This was another great video. Well, I'm just telling myself. Okay. See, now you messed me up, lads. You killed my flow, lads. <laughs> <laughs> all right thank you guys for being here this was another video but i can't even do my outro nice seeing you take care until next time keep succeeding goodbye